It's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial. And today we are painting the redesigned, re-lovely <laughs> Deathwing Knights from the Deathwing Assault Box. It was sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you. So a massive thank you to them for this, because these are very, very pretty. Look at them. They're massive. And they're pretty. I know I've said that twice, but it really does bear saying twice. Anyway, they're very, very cool, and we're going to be painting them up today in their classic colours. So, uh, we've got the three here. There are two more in the unit, but there is also the Watcher in the Dark and the Teleport Homer. So we're going to be painting these up as well at the same time. And, well, we're going to jump in. We're going to start painting them. They've all been primed in Wraithbone. And the colour we're going to be using first is some seraphim sepia now actually we shouldn't start on this one because there is one thing we do need to point out is that we're going to be applying this over the top of all of their armor however for some of them we're also going to apply this over their shields now you don't have to do this exactly as i'm doing it you can choose to do it any way that you wish and any of them can be kind of heraldy this way if you wish but the shield is kind of an extension of the personal knight's heraldry in some ways. It doesn't have to match the tilting one that they've got there on their uh, kind of on their chest plates. But we're going to be applying this all over the top of this one's shield facing. We're not going to be doing it over the top of the other two that we're going to be painting. But we are going to be getting this seraphim sepia all over here. That's why we're showing this one. Rather than the sergeant. The sergeant one's going to be a different colour, and our third guy is also going to be a different colour as well. Give you an indicator of the sort of three different types of colours that we're going to use on the shields to create a really cool set of miniatures. Rather than all just being exactly the same, you know. So you want to get this all over like this. Just like that. We only need to do it on the outside, we don't need to do it on the inside. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to apply this, as previously mentioned, over the top of all of their armor. You just take it section at a time. Nice and steady here. It is a shade paint, so Pretty easy to control, but the same kind of techniques as usual when applying contrast paints apply here. However, it is just that little bit easier with a shade paint because they a little bit longer to dry.
So with all that seraphim sepia applied, what we're then going to do is move on to the next colour, which is going to be a roughly three parts dark angels green to one part Lamia medium mix. And this is what we're going to apply over the top of the tabards. And the reason we're showing off this guy is because we're also going to apply this over the top of his shield. We've got that Lamia medium in there just to help us with the flow of Dark Angel's Green because it is a bit of a temperamental paint. However, you will just want to watch out for any drips or large dark areas forming. Like that one just there. So, we've got the rest of it to do as well, in there like that, and of course up here on the chest. However, as mentioned, we're also going to be doing this over the top of the shield facing. And whilst we're applying all that Dark Angels green, it's a good time to tell you about our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Serious Readers. I've talked about them in the past, so you guys already know I really believe in their stuff. So when Serious Readers asked me to check out their high definition Gemini table light, you know I absolutely had to. It uses all the same great stuff as their floor light, especially their proprietary daylight wavelength technology to replicate the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible, which makes a big difference on your eyes. The biggest feature here though is that it's not one, but two light engines on separate flexible arms, giving you optimal coverage of your painting space, a light source to share with someone else, or a perfect setup for taking photos of your miniatures. They're built right here in the UK as Serious Readers is a British company pioneering research into improving sight through shedding better light, relying on replicating the natural daylight spectrum that our eyes have evolved to use. They offer a five-year warranty and are recommended by over 500 independent opticians. They're also super cool folks with excellent customer service, so much so that when I asked for a colder bulb, they sent me one or in this case two, along with two diffusers to make my life even better. Check out Serious Readers today, and if you pick one up and use offer code SR490, you can get £100 off high definition lights and free delivery. Find out more in the links below. So that Dark Angels green all applied. What we're now going to do is move on to the next colour. But before we do that, I do just need to point out that we also applied Dark Angel's Green to the robes of the angel on this gentleman's shield. And this is where we're going to start next. So, the colour we're going to be using next is some Flesh Terrors Red. And we're going to be applying this over tons of details. So, first things first, we're going to apply this over the top of the any swords on any of the shields.
like so. And then on our Knight Master's Shield, we're also going to apply this over the top of all that remaining shield facing, not the wings. Like so. Then what we're also going to do is we're going to make our way around the model doing the rest of the red details. So we have any scabbards. Like that. We have any other swords or Dark Angels iconography. Such as that one. And of course, any chest eagles and the shoulders. So with that all done, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some Black Legion and we're gonna apply this over the top of the soft wraps on any of the weapons, such as this one just here. Like that sort of thing. We're going to apply this over the top of any of the gaps in the armor. The soft joints to be precise. Like so. And we're going to apply this over the top of the inside of the storm shields. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Leviathan Purple. And we're going to apply this over the top of any wax seals and purity seals. Any rope or string, such as this one here. This one here. Yeah. 
So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Targor Raid Shade. We're going to apply this over a detail that's across all of them, and then one specifically to our Knight Master. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply this over top of the sort of Crux Terminar to see bits. So we've got the any of the stuff that's on the knees. Like that sort of thing. I've got the one on the shoulder as well. Like that. And then specifically to the master, we're also going to apply this over the top of the paper. On a shield. And the reason why will become apparent shortly. With all that Targor Raid Shade now applied, we're going to take some Nuln Oil. And we're going to apply this over the top of the paper. Everywhere else. But also including this Nightmaster Shield. And the reason why we did the Targor Raid Shade first was to create a little bit of distinction between these wings which we're also going to paint with the Null Oil. So with that done, we now move on to the metallics portion of the event. And well, the first one we're going to use is some thins down Castellax bronze. And we're gonna be using this for all of the trim on our Deathwing Terminators, it's especially including the shields. So we're going to be applying this over top of, like this, over top of the trim of the shield. Like that sort of thing. We're going to be applying this over the top of any of the doodads on the armor, such as the skulls, and the decoration. As well as the sort of halo-y bit on the master, and the shoulder pads. So with all of that Castellax bronze applied all the way around, as you can see, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Retributor armor. I'm going to apply this over the other bits of decorative details. So this is going to include the main part of this sensor down here. We've got the decorative bits on the weapons. scabbards, things like that, got this bit of jewellery, and we have the halo 
around here. And with that retributor armor all applied, we're then going to take some thinned down lead belcher. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the remaining details. So with that, all of our base coats are now on on all of our Deathwing Terminators. So it's time to add some shades. Now, the first of these is going to be some Griff Charger Grey. I'm going to be using this over the top of their swords. That Griff Charger Grey applied to the swords, we're then going to take some Nuln Oil and we're going to use this to shade all of the remaining silver and the black. So this will mostly just be the inside of the shields. With all that null oil applied, we're then going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this to shade all of the gold and the Castellax Bronze. So with that, our Deathwing Knights are now what I would call a War Hipster battle ready. I think they're looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave them there, of course not. We're going to take them to the next level. And we're going to do this by adding some layers and some highlights. Now, the first of this is going to be an actual layer, and this is more of a corrective one. And this is going to be some thinned down Caliban Green. And we're going to be using this on the shield. So what we want to do here is we're just going to use this now to darken it down just that little bit more. Because whilst that thinned down Dark Angel's green is perfect, for the robes, I want the shield to just be that little bit darker. And of course, you don't have to do this if you're happy with it. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down warped stone glow. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the green. And with that warped stone glow applied, we're then going to take a tiny amount of moot green. I'm going to use this to add some little kind of spot highlights to all the green. So that all done, the green is now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. I'm going to move on to all the red. 
And the color we're gonna be using to highlight all of that is some thinned down Wild Rider Red. So with all that Wild Rider Red applied, we're then gonna take some thinned down Fire Dragon Bright. I'm gonna apply this as a little spot highlight to all of our red details, just picking out the sharpest little corners. Like that. But what we're also going to do here now, is gonna add a little tiny line going across the middle of the eye lenses. So with all that Fire Dragon Bright applied, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Slanesh Gray. I'm gonna use this to highlight all the purple. So with all that Slanesh Gray applied, we're then gonna take some thinned down White Scar. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the parchment. And the wings on the shield of our Night Master. So with that all done, We've done quite a few of the highlights now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a corrective layer, but also a little bit of a kind of highlight, a little bit of a relayer, whatever you want it to be. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down screaming skull. And we're going to use this now to smooth out any mistakes we might have made on the bone. So for example, I've got a little one just here. So I'm going to apply the screaming skull just like this. over the top of that little joint. Same just under here. Like that. Got a slightly heavy shading going on just on that bit there. Just gonna use that like that. I'm on the hunt. Oh, got a little bit of a blob of green just here. Which we need to sort out. Perfect. Often an area to look for is around here, but that looks to be all good. We've got a little bit of it. Just going on just there. A little bit of a null oil overspill just here. Slightly heavy shading around. This leg just here. Just like that sort of thing. With all of that correction done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Pallid Witch Flush. And this is kind of optional. You don't really have to do this because they're already very bright. Uh, but what we're going to do with this is we're going to basically use this to effectively pick out things like rivets, like this one. as well as just highlight any kind of upward facing edges. However, it's not 
hugely impactful. So you can get away with not doing it at all. So that all done, it's now time to work on the metallics and we're gonna start with the swords. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that sort of slightly kind of non-metallic, metally sort of blended effect that they have on the swords. And it looks really, really cool. So we're gonna be painting that in today. And it's actually a lot more simple than it looks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of Black Templar and Lamia Medium. And we're gonna apply this over the top of the swords, but we're gonna do this very targetedly. So just in here, we're gonna apply the Black Templar like this, along this half of the blade. We're gonna bring it down to round about there, like so. We're then gonna wash the brush, touch off the water, and then we're just gonna feather away at that area where we stopped to blend it into the blade, like that. We're then gonna do the same thing again, and this time we're gonna go back from the tip of the blade here, out to around about halfway, like that. Wash the brush, touch off the water, and then blend it out. So you get this four different sections, one, two, three, and four. And then of course we're gonna do this on the inside as well. And with that done, we're then gonna do the exact same thing again with the same mix, one-to-one, -one, Black Templar and Lamium Medium. Only this time, we're gonna do a little bit of less of it. So for example, I come up to there, wash the brush, touch off the water, and then blend it like that. And then once again, Up the other way, wash the brush, touch off the water, and then blend it out. Really making those four, four sections really distinct. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're gonna take some lead belch and we're gonna thin it down with five or six parts water, so we want to get a nice thin glaze consistency. If you look at my thumbnail here, we want it to kind of look a little bit like that sort of thing. It's really, really, really watery. And what we want to do is we want to apply this over the top of the other parts of the blade that we've not done. like that. And then we wash the brush, touch off the water, and then just like before with the Black Templar, we use this to blend the two colors together by just feathering it away like that. So it gives a, restores a really nice shine to that part of the blade, as you can see. Don't want very much on your brush as you do this. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron breaker and we're going to use this to highlight all of the silver. So we're going to be highlighting the sword. Got a mysterious blob there. Let's deal with that. There we go. 
We'll be highlighting the sword as well as any other silver details. So mostly things like the kind of cables on the backs of the arms and the inside of the shield. So with that, all of the silver is now done. So what we're gonna do is move on to the gold. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight all of this is some thin down liberator gold. So with that Liberator Gold all applied, there's just one last highlight to apply to our Deathwing Knights, which is going to be some thinned down Rune Lord Brass. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our Castellax Bronze. So with that done, our Terminators are pretty much finished. There they are, they look awesome. There's just one thing that we can do left though, and this is optional, of course, and this is to do a little bit of extra kind of free handy or a little bit of kind of detailing work on their tilting shields. And as an example for this guy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Dark Angels Green. You could use any of the colors that we've used so far from white to red to more bone or even green, but I'm just gonna take some Dark Angels Green and I'm gonna apply this all over the top of this guy's front panel. Of the tilting shield. With that done, all of our knights are now finished, as you can see. I think they look cracking. So, I'm gonna pop them to one side, and we're gonna very, very quickly run through the Watcher in the Dark and the Teleport Homer. So we're gonna start with the Watcher in the Dark. The color we're gonna be using for him first is Sigvald Burgundy. I'm gonna be applying this over the top of the robe. With all that Sigval Burgundy applied, we're then gonna take some Volupus Pink and we're gonna apply this over the top. that Volupus Pink applied, but then take some Dark Angels Green and we're gonna apply this over the top of his little boot and over the top of the soft wrap of the sensor staff thingy. With that now done, we then take some Flesh Tear as Red we apply this over the top of the book. So with that done, we're then gonna take two colors, Black Templar and Black Legion. I'm gonna apply this over the top of the smoke. 
So we're going to start by taking some black Templar. I'm going to apply this over the top of all of the smoke. Up to around about there. Same on the back. So, then I'm going to wash the brush, grab some Black Legion, and then we're going to apply this over the top of the sort of main plume. Wash the brush, grab a little bit more Black Legion, and get this in there. Like so. And whilst we wait for that to dry, we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and apply this over the top of the rope and the pages of the book. And with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down Retributor armor. We're going to apply this over the top of all of the remaining details. So with that all done, we're now gonna add a shade, and that is going to be some Reitland Flesh Shade. We're gonna use this to shade all the gold. So with that done, he's now what I would call a war hipster to battle ready, so. I'm going to take some thinned down Wazdaka Red and I'm going to apply a highlight to all of the robe. So with that then done, we take some thinned down Liberator Gold and we use this to highlight all the gold. And with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down Administratum Grey, we're going to use this to highlight the smoke, but what we're going to do here is we're going to add a full highlight along these kind of long trails. Like that sort of thing. Whereas in the actual smoke itself, we can add tiny little flecks of it, like that sort of thing. And with that then done, to finish the Watcher off, we're going to take a tiny little bit of Flesh Terror's Red, and we're going to apply this over the lens. With the watch are now done, we've just got the teleport homer to do. So what we're going to do, just like with the Deathwing Terminators, we're going to take some Seraphim Sepia. I'm going to apply this all over the top. Now 
With that seraphim sepia applied, we then take some Eandon yellow. And we're going to apply this over the top of these little kind of gaps in the... It's not really armour, but in the structure. So, and we're going to apply this over the top of the light. With that done, it's time for a little bit of hazard striping. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some black legion. I'm going to paint this in. So over the top of those yellow areas, what we're going to do is we're going to start down here in this corner. I'm going to paint a little line coming up like that. Then we're just going to block that little section in. Like so. Then we're going to move up. And just around about here where it kind of curves. We draw another little line. And then on that little corner, draw another little line. And then, we block it in. Like that. Then we've got one more to do. Starting just there, underneath that little corner. We draw a little line. And then we block in above it. Like that. And then we just replicate that on all four sides. So with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down lead belcher. I'm going to apply this over top of all of the remaining details. So with that done, we're going to finish things off by taking a little bit of Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to shade those silver bits. So with their bases now complete, our Deathwing Knights are finally finished. And I think they look absolutely fantastic. I really love the new shields. I think they're wicked. And I'm very, very pleased with myself with the swords, if I have to say so myself. I think they look absolutely phenomenal. It's very simple to do. And it just elevates those blades up just tenfold, in fact. It's really, really, really cool. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do as without you I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video. 
Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.